the scene a few moments ago. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. This is Ty Johnson. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. It's second and eight. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Running from the gun, Johnson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down, New York. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Rolling to his right. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Call that a very strong gain of 24. A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that. Tried to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. Tevin Coleman, the ball. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Brian Burns coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. A 45-yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard. But it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. On 
First and ten, Darnold. That one's going to be complete to David Moore. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Darnold from the gun. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Play action, it's Darnold, He'll, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Carl Lawson, make that now eight sacks for him on the season. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, Shh. There is a hush indeed. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson. And a big gain that time. He's out of bounds on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. A quick throw out wide, caught by Crowder. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11. Crowder's got it over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. The ball carry. I think you mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. I actually wrote that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. <laughs> I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they've wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. On second down, Johnson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 27. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Johnson. 
And he's got some space here. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. It's Coleman here. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Sideline throw that's caught by Moore. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0. Our score, line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Darnold. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. They'll take over first. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Play fake here on first down. Out to his left. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. The end result, 21 yards. Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On the ground, this is Johnson. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Ty Johnson, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Jets will extend their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. 37-yard line. Off of play action, Darnold. And Darnold, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down Ready? now. Here's second down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and 10. 26 mark, 26 mark. Darnold now to throw. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. 26 mark, 26 mark. On first down, it's Darnold. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. To try again after the sack. Darnold under pressure again, and down he goes again. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. At the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Throwing on second down, Darno. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving.
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Back to the air, Darnold on second down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Tory McTire. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. On the tackle there, Natrell Jamerson out of Wisconsin. Brings up second and eight. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Johnson. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, praise has to go to the guys on the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? gun now on third down he finds his target it's Crowder and he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion it'll be a pickup of 16 and a Jet first down Johnson and he stopped immediately there. Ty Johnson. No gain on the play there. Second down. Second down right so where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second and 10 now. Third quarter from Charlotte. They'll set up to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? On third down, he'll drop to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. At the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Darnold. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. 
Now he's flushed out. Darnold, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Sometimes in the run game, you can make the argument that quickness beats size. And how about the example right here? Second and 13. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Brian Burns able to record his fifth sack of the season. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big time guy you have to block. third and long they'll look to throw and this is intercepted he was trying to get it to Davis Jeremy Chin picks it off the third down pass intercepted the Panthers take over first and 10 at the 31 yard line They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And room there to work it inside the 25. It's a good pickup on the ground of seven yards, and time has run out on this third quarter. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers in possession of the football, but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. A play fake, and it's Darnold. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. David Moore, his first touchdown on the year. And thanks to the interception, the Panthers offense cashes in with six. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Panthers 7. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now all of a sudden, we've got an interesting game here. You just saw them go down and score a touchdown. And what was a comfortable lead at halftime, it's down to a two-score game. And so the obvious thought is they've got to ramp things back up again. Got to get the offense into high gear. But we've seen this before. When you've kind of been in shutdown mode for a while, thinking that you're okay, it's hard to mash the gas again and have everything work perfectly. They've got to fast together a good drive right here and now. Because defensively, they've got to be feeling confident they haven't allowed a point this half. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And some room to roam now. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Down to the 30 after a game. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Shoot, shoot, shoot. 
Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Touchdown. Ty Johnson. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets find a way to stretch their lead. I thought as that was developing that he might actually keep it but the right decision, obviously, to hand the football off. And some teams do a really nice job of taking a little bit longer at the mesh point, meaning where he's going to hand it off or keep it. Sometimes they ride and maybe a step longer than others. That allows him to make the proper decision and have the right person end up with the ball. And it paid off with a long touchdown run. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now returning it, Antonio Callaway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Callaway on the return. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team... They've really been put through the ringer in this one. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Jets pressure too much as down he goes. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Back to throw, Darnold. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Darnold completes it. That catch good for only a couple. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Darnold over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Touchdown, Carolina! David Moore with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers, they're able to draw a bit closer. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. Makes the score Jets 24, Panthers 14. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. At the 25-yard line. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And all the way down to the 35. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He was taken down. Had this game to the last one, and they moved the ball over 50 yards in two plays. First down, New York. taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Johnson and he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. It's a gain of eight there and that should be enough to seal the victory. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, on this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Ty Johnson, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone.